Hey guys, another diorama tip. Action figure stands making pegs. These are pegs that I made from everyday materials, a cotton swab, and the twisted rope stuff you get like in, uh, with gift bags. So recently, my wife and I got a Valentine's Day gift, a card, Amazon card, in this bag with some tissue paper. And here's the uh, front of the card. It said, you're one in a million. See the one heart that's sparkly. And also one in a million is our demonstrator gal. Yes, two days before Valentine's Day, Harley Quinn makes an appearance as she's thinking about Mr. J. Puddin. She will be our demonstrator model. What do you need? Well, you need, as mentioned, a cotton swab, uh, one of these rope-like uh, twisty gift bang handles, uh, a drill with a one-ace drill bit. If you're going to make the base, uh, and a hot glue gun. I have an awesome one by Arrow. has a cool base. It has a separate on-off switch, which I would recommend if you're in the market. Uh, you may also, uh, to put the other foot in a position of general immovability, you can use your baby bell uh, wax and then the standard sticky tech stuff you can purchase. So, <clears throat> what did I do? Well, let's start with the cotton swab. Basically, you pull the majority of the cotton off, so you're left with just a little of it. And you twist it around, and then you put a little dab of hot glue and then twist let it dry a second, and then uh, twist it around, and you end up with something that looks like this. And I will demonstrate to you how well this works. Harley's going to reveal where her peg is there. Peg hole, I should say. This is not easy to do one hand at a time. Please excuse the. I really need a stand. I don't have my stand anymore. Okay, so I did it. So here's Harley with the peg inserted in her peg hole. And I want to show you how all this works by holding her by the peg so it, it fits in snug. And then, using the one eighth uh, drill bit, you can you can drill a hole. Uh, here, I used um, two plastic lids and then a, a pickle jar lid. Uh, I chose this one because of, of course, the black and red theme. So the same thing basically goes for making this peg. You uh, twist this around tight and then put a little dab of hot glue on it, twist it around, and you end up with something that looks like this. And it works just as well as the cotton swab. So, how cheap is that? Uh, this is great for making custom bases like this one. And uh, so I know I've lost most of the bases, and I'm not sure if they got lost in my move or what, but I've had to make a lot of custom bases, and I thought, oh, maybe I can share my uh, tips on this with my subscribers. So I hope you liked it. I'm out.